So I'm standing at the end of a garden the other day with my brother and I'm telling him about this play I'm writing at the moment and um, <laughs> we were talking about this really specific stage direction I wrote uh, where at the top of the scene I put this scene is performed entirely underneath a child-sized umbrella. Oh wait, I love that. Thank you. And he goes, yeah, that's cool, I get it, because everyone inputs their own childhood umbrella. So it washes the scene with this kind of nostalgia. Yeah, no, I was thinking about mine. Exactly. And he made me realise that what I'd written was a stage direction about me, but by being just vague enough, and not even intentionally, it was ten times more effective. And then I start thinking about what nostalgia means. Naturally. And about how everybody... Like, it's it's different for everybody, but fundamentally it's the same. Right, because we all have an umbrella we remember from being a child. Exactly. And then all of a sudden, I can't stop thinking about childhood and umbrellas. And I see this kid running down the street with an umbrella, and it's not even raining. And I almost drop my phone trying to get a photo of him, because all I can think about is how that umbrella means something to him and he's so gonna remember that umbrella yeah that umbrella will mean something like big to him one day how have you found it going outside well I mean I didn't go out for a long time I when I got back um I was self-isolating with my family for two weeks so I couldn't even leave one room um so I used to just stick my head out the window a lot um but ever since then, I mean, the government says you're allowed to go out once a day mm-hmm. for a walk. But, like, in the last three weeks, I've been allowed out. I've probably been out a total of five times, maybe. Why? Because it's scary out there. Like, I honestly felt safer when I was sticking my head out the window. So it's because of the people, or...? I mean, yeah, like, it's definitely partly to do with the people. The people just still getting too close for comfort and just really not taking it seriously. But, I mean, how do I phrase this? Let me take your time. Thank you. You know, people do not take their time enough. Okay, sorry, let me just... I'm really trying to phrase this right. Okay, so... You know when you buy new shoes. Like, people buy new shoes. Sure. And you buy new shoes because, you know, you grew out of the old ones, or they give you blisters, so they're uncomfortable, or... You know, but you buy new shoes. Okay, I'm with you. But, you know, when you were a kid and your mum used to make you keep old shoes to wear for, like, dirty activities, you wouldn't ruin the ones you love. Like, I don't know, for, like, muddy school trips. Or, I, okay, I've got an example. When we were kids, we used to jump in the river a lot. and you, In the River Thames? Yeah. That's disgusting. Exactly. And that's why my mum would make me wear old shoes. Because she didn't want me to, like, touch the bottom of my feet or you know, cut myself, but she also didn't want me to ruin perfectly good shoes. So I I had this cupboard of, like, old shoes that I would wear for that purpose. Oh, okay, so, like, t-shirts that you keep just to paint in. Yes, exactly that. So, oh my god, I've completely lost my train of thought. How did we get here? Um, you were talking about shoes and, um, going outside during quarantine. Oh yeah, no, I remember, thank you. Um, so those shoes... When I left home to go to uni, I took all the shoes I liked with me, and I left the shoes that didn't quite fit in London, like in case I ever needed a pair of shoes, my, my just-in-case shoes. So when I came home during the pandemic so abruptly, I didn't bring any shoes other than the ones I was wearing that day. So now, every time I go outside, I'm wearing my just-in-case shoes. And like, yeah, I could jump in a river in them and not be upset about ruining my shoes, But, like, am I comfortable? No. Because I'm cramming my feet into shoes that don't quite fit me anymore. So it feels like you're walking in someone else's shoes. I mean, yeah. Well, I guess that was a very long-winded way to that metaphor. But, like, instead of being someone else, it's a younger version of yourself. So every time I go on these walks, I feel like I'm her again. How so? What do you mean? Well, like, what are you experiencing, like, specifically on these walks that's making you feel like this younger version of yourself? Okay, well, so, sorry, I explained this in such a muddled way. It's, it's not that I am my younger self, it's, it's kind of like I'm being forced to take a walk with her. Same streets, same shoes, and it's, it's hard not to feel her there. And it's like this battle between walking around dressed up as someone you feel so far away from, and trying to experience the world with who you feel like you are now. 
I mean, why do you feel so far away from this version of yourself? I mean, doesn't everyone feel that way when they leave home? And when you come home from a holiday or something, it's all fun and games because it's like taking a vacation from your new life and you get to put on these old shoes and jump in the river and enjoy yourself. But now I put them on and because I don't know when I'll get to take them off again, it's like I'm afraid of them. And it's not like I want to be in one place or the other really, like it's not that I don't want to be here and it's not that I just want to be there, it's more that I want to find someone within myself that doesn't rely on being there. You know, like I want to find the security I feel when I'm in New York in myself and therefore wherever I am in the world, you know? Like I don't want to become emotionally attached to a city. Like I want to feel like whatever shoes I'm wearing and whatever place in the world I'm in, I'm who I want to be and who I most feel I am. You know? Like, it's dramatic, but I think I'm just trying to figure out how to carry myself by myself. And it's hard, but it's good. And it gets easier. And it already is easier.